at St. Pete Beach. And let's enjoy a sunset toast to a sun kiss day on clear water. Yep, got another car. First things first, this is my favorite Range Rover body style, that boxy, utilitarian, military looking truck versus the now more very, very luxurious uh, newer models of the Range Rover. So that's why I chose this, aside from it being a lot cheaper. So you may be wondering, why did I get an SUV? And when you have a house and a family, you definitely need something to haul stuff. And it has luxury, got to have my luxury. So let's jump into it and see what is what. All right, first things first, we can see that it is black. I love black on the Range Rovers. Black is always good for European cars, in my opinion. It's pretty clean, the paint is good. It's got the big brakes. Disregard the dirt. It's got the 20 inch rims, which is upgrade. It's not the standard. Probably because it's a supercharger, it has that. As you can see, the body is really, really good. It's a little dirty right now, but you got that supercharged badge. You got the tailpipes down there. That's signature for the supercharged Range Rover. So the 2012 has the LCD screen for the instrument cluster. Black on black. So the headliner is not black, but seats are black and leather. Obviously it's Range Rover. We have the piano black here. So we have the extended leather up top here on the dashboard. I'm not sure if that's an option or standard. Uh, it may be standard for the supercharge, but we have that. Seats are not bad. And one thing about this, this Range Rover has 200,000 miles on it. Yes, 200,000. So we have that classic center console that I like. You know, all your 4x4 gear stuff that you're accustomed to. Back seat, we don't have the rear view entertainment in the seats, but we do have heated seats down below here. And we do have independent climate control in the back. Another thing that I like about the Range Rover full size is that you get the door. You get this split door access glass goes up the door comes down like that have a little tailgate where you can sit on pretty sturdy so that's another reason why i like the full size all right so for the main thing we have the engine this is a v8 supercharged engine the supercharge is under here you can see it right there so with the supercharger, it produces 510 horsepower, I believe, but that's a lot for SUV, nevertheless. So engine compartment, pretty clean. It does have 200,000 miles, as I said, but I am loving it. So we do have the cameras. Digital dash. So we do have some pretty cool features here. We have the camera, which is the surround cameras. They're not the best cameras, but I mean, you get to see our left side, passenger side. The front two are actually broke. This one is cracked, that one, and then this is the rear. You can not click on it and then enlarge it. That give you full size of the different, different areas. So it's, it's not the best, cause I mean, it is 2012, but it is decent. And that's an upgrade for sure. They don't come on all of them with the surround camera, all that good stuff. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. Can't complain. Still running pretty good. Hear that engine. Yeah. So we got 512 horsepower, like I mentioned before. Good. So we're going to bring this to the channel. We're going to probably do like a overland type thing. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on how it pans out. But I'll do my normal showing you how to maintain it and all that good stuff. So remember, do it until you can. Until next time, I'm out.